All right, I'm gonna make a simple bow for a ladybug door hanger. First, I'd like to get my ribbon out. I usually do two or three colors um, and I like to mix and match sizes and I like three of each. So grab the last of what I need. I normally use wired ribbon. Um, sometimes I put in the gross grain that's not wired and I will use um, a fabric stiffener like starch or something at the end after the bow's made to stiffen it up a little bit. Um, I also use the bow dabra. It's just a helpful hand, extra hand for me. Um, you'll need a pair of scissors, a lighter to seal off the ribbon. Um, I have my ruler out, but I don't normally use it because my ribbon's already pre-cut um, in this box right here. Um, I cut all my pre-ribbon to eight inches. Um, I feel like that's a good size for big door hangers and little ones. The ladybug I'm doing today is actually for a kid's bedroom um, for her birthday. Um, so it's a little smaller, like I'd say 18 inches, maybe 16 inches. So um, this is a good size for both small and large. Um, normally I use the corded stuff that comes with the Bodabra, um, but I am out. So um, this is a 26 gauge wire that works just as well. Um, I just cut off, um, I don't know, about 16, 18 inches or so. I kind of just eyeball it. And then you want to put it in half. This will be real helpful at the end when we put tie everything off together. And you have your bow dabber here. You put it in, slide it in here. You don't have to use the bow dabber by any means. You can use your hands to pull everything together, but this, like I said, it's just an extra helpful hand for me. I turn it off to the side. If I have ribbons that are mostly the same size, I gather them all together. This is just to make the ends pretty. Make sure they're all facing the same way. And then you just fold them up. Cut a little triangle like that. And then you take the other end, make sure they're all together. And see the fraying right here, the lighter will help from that happening, especially if it's gonna be outside or after some time of the bow sitting, it will fray. Um, that's just an old trick I've learned when I used to make hair bows. You really want a good sharp pair of scissors for this. So toss that in the trash. Um, and then, because this was a different size, I'm going to do these ones together. One other thing you might want to need is your glue gun. Mine's off over here. Just gonna turn that on. Um, but that'll be the very last step, so we'll have time to heat up. All right, so now we have our three colors um, right here. I want to seal off the ends. I do this one at a time to make sure I get a good seal. If you have a wire sticking out, just cut it off. And now you see why I pre-cut all my ribbon because it is a little time consuming to make a bow. It's really easy though. But if I have it all pre-cut, I just have to get it out. I don't have to fumble with my rolls. And then it's all sitting here on my table so I kind of have an idea of what colors I'm gonna use. Almost. 
after you seal it with the lighter, you can feel it. It's got a little bump there. <clears throat> so you know it's sealed, it's not gonna fray on you. All right. Now you wanna decide which one's gonna go down first, be your bottom layer. Um, if I have different patterns like this, I normally don't wanna put the two patterns together. So I will put this gingham one in the center and start with the black. Always start with the thicker one. Now I'm just gonna gather it in the middle. This is where you can hold it in your hand and pile them all on top of each other if you don't have a bow down with. So you don't need this, like I said, it's just a helpful little tool for me. Slide it in. Not gonna worry about adjusting any of the tails yet. <clears throat> and you wanna put them in in different directions and you wanna eyeball it to make sure everything's this kind of the same length on each side. So I got them in here going different directions. And that's what it looks like. So then I'll take my next color or pattern and do the same thing. I just kind of flip it out just so I can see if they're the same length on each side. I will worry about poofing the bow and adjusting the bow later after I've all tied it off. See, the bow dabber is just a helpful extra hand for me, so I'm not holding it in one hand and trying to put it on top. Same with the red now. It's just a little smaller, but it's going to go on the same way. I like three of each because I can do one in the center, one going this way, and one going this way. And like I said, it will all tie, tie off nice and tight when I'm done. This one's a little short on this end, so I'm just gonna pull it through. Then I take this little piece that comes with the bow dab and I just kind of push everything down. Okay, this is where this wire comes in pretty handy. It's looped on one end, so let me pull it up for you. Right here, so I can put this end through and pull it tight right on there the wire that comes with it um, it's kind of like cord it's much easier to do this step but this it's such a small gauge that this works just fine too and it just pulls off and there's your bow Pop that off to the side now to merely make sure it's tight I pull tight make sure it's all in there Take the two ends, and I turn it over, and I twist. Now, if you're attaching it to a door hanger, um, you can leave this wire here to attach it to your door hanger. I don't put my bows on that way. I know a lot of people do, so there's your tails that, to tie it off. I don't. I snip this off, and I push it down. There's most of my bow made. I need to grab one more ribbon. I have a white 3 8 inch here that I'm gonna tie up the center with. I just need a little piece. I'm going to put a little bit of glue, hot glue, Sorry, I'm out of space, so my hot glue gun is off to the side. Um, so on the back, I just glue, hot glue the one end. I let that dry for just a second so it doesn't move around on me. And then I'm going to put a dab of hot glue right here. And I'm going to Pull this around. And I had the hot glue wasn't quite dry, but this will get the idea. And pull off all the little glue strands. So then snip off 
your end, seal it just so it doesn't fray later on. And then all that's left is to flip out your bow. So the wire ribbon, this is why I like wire ribbon, it holds its shape. Some ribbons better than others. Just gotta play with it. Pull out these. You can play with it however you want, however you like it. And then it's kind of, I like to put, press it flat because it's gonna be hanging flat against door hanger or whatever it is you're putting on. And like I said, I used some ribbon that was gross grain. It wasn't, it wasn't wired. So my last step is to add a heavy starch. I just give it a little spray. Doesn't take a lot. This just gives it just a little bit of um, stiffness so it can when it gets to its final home they can poof back out their bow after you ship it because in shipping it will flatten um and then there you have it how i attach it to door hangers i hot glue the back i press it on and then i take this very underneath and i use my staple gun right here and right here and then it's hidden by all the other layers that way i know it's it's on there correctly. Um, it's not gonna come off with the staples. The hot glue will hold it in place. Sometimes um, I even staple it kind of wrinkled up like this so it kind of holds a, a more of a bounce when it's on the door hanger. It just kind of depends on the ribbon I'm using, how I think. This one does have to dry um, for an hour or two just because of the starch I put on it. And there we have it. There's your bow.